What is going on guys, it's Ramana, and today I'm bringing you back with another World War II guide, and today's guide is going to be how to upgrade the Tesla gun to one of the four upgrades, and this one we're going to do is the Hurricane. Now the Hurricane isn't very hard to do, there's a little part that might be a little bit tedious, but that's it, and then it's really, really good, and this definitely changed my opinions on which one is my favorite Tesla gun, so I'm pretty sure that gives you a good idea on how good this thing is, and it's so worth your time i will be telling you guys what it does in the end of the video so if you're just interested then wait to the end of the video or you could just skip there but that's not fun okay just just watch the whole thing but yeah you clicked on this video to find out how to build the hurricane so let's get started but wait actually before we actually get started to upgrade this tesla gun you're going to need the tesla gun if you guys don't know how to build the tesla gun then i have a full in-depth guide on how to do that at the edge of your screen there will be a little eye notification telling you that you can click on this and you can go to the video and once you finish watching that video you can come back to this video and know how to upgrade it because i'm pretty sure everyone would want to upgrade this one now with all that being said we can finally continue assuming that you guys already got your unupgraded tesla gun our first step is going to include us to buy this 1500 dollars door right over here buy that and on your way down to the emperor's chamber you will see four bombs zombies now what we really need is one of these bomb zombies but it doesn't hurt to have a little more and i don't know why in the gameplay i just didn't go down there maybe i, I just got scared that they might blow me up the bomb zombie does come out and he might take a little while unless if you get a little closer and then he will start running after you but basically we're taking him to this laboratory area in this laboratory area there will be these stairs up here just go over here where i'm in the gameplay and the bomb zombie will eventually come up these stairs you need to to blow up his bomb in this area once you do blow up his bomb there'll be this hollow metal that will plop out with a battery now basically that's it that's how you get the battery for the hurricane so might as well just go down there press square pick it up but let me just say this is heavy but not as heavy when it's fully charged up and you pick that thing up that will slow you down so once you pick that up head over to this trap like we saw in the trailer and there'll be this little battery holder right here and place this battery in the battery holder now this is the little tedious part which honestly isn't even that bad but i'm pretty sure most of you guys already seen it before it but we all know those type of zombies that are really slow and they have this metal club with spikes on it people call them whistling zombies they call them big birther they call them all types of names but whatever you guys call them you're going to need to kill these big birther guys in this trap where we previously placed the battery in so it might be good to like hold them off for like three rounds until you get like three big birthers or whatever you call them so that's what i did so can i get a rip in the so basically what i did i just waited for one of the big birthers to come and then killed all the zombies and then go on to the next wave so then i would have two big birthers and having three is really good because then you could just finish this step really quickly so i got three and i brought them to the trap i activated the trap and they'll start walking pretty slowly and then yeah they'll basically die from this trap and then you know this is working when there's red bolts of lightning appearing from absolutely nowhere and going inside the battery and this is basically telling you that hey you're doing awesome and you're powering the battery up which is exactly what we need this might take you like about like six big birthers so that means if you have three then you just need to do it one more time to have six so i basically just needed to do this twice get three rounds of big birthers and then activate the trap and then the red bolts of lightning will then go back in the battery and then yeah you're you're done go over and head to the battery pick it up and wait i would like to warn you before we continue on that you have to have done the lightning rod step in the casual quest easter egg now i have a full guide on that in my channel if you guys are watching this as soon as it comes out then it's not out yet but people that are in the future i have a full in-depth guide on how to get to the lightning rod step so you can get this done and also farther so you guys can do the actual easter egg. if you guys are interested there'll be a little eye notification at the edge of your screen so yeah you have have to have completed the lightning rod step and basically what this step is that you need to defend from zombies and it's a bit of a load of a zombies and so you just got to defend them from this tower that's going up and it has a health bar so yeah 
you gotta defend it before the health bar goes down. So yeah, you have to complete this step before going to the next one. All right, so we're all caught up. Have you already done the lightning rod step? I'm going to assume you have. Pick up your battery that's in this trap. It's gonna be very heavy now. It's gonna be heavier than the last time we picked it up. But if there's any zombie, feel free to press triangle and drop it and then deal with the zombie. And place the battery inside the central control pad. Th that's just what I call it. Now basically what this is telling you is that get everything you need before you're gonna have to defend this. So again, is another defending thing. So make sure you guys have jack in the boxes. Your wonder weapon is also good. The Tesla gun is good. The baking and eggs, which is the 1911 spawn pistol is really good for this stuff because it's literally too bomb guns that don't hurt you at all that's exactly what i'm going for so having all these stuff or or if you even have another already upgraded tesla gun this is really helpful for the stab anything that you can possibly do to keep these zombies away from this battery is absolutely necessary but yeah once you think you guys are ready press square on this battery and it'll basically close itself in it'll grow a health bar and yeah good luck kill all the zombies and once you have done that congratulations you basically finished it already all you got to do is just wait for this generator to actually do some weird stuff and if you have a remote on vibrate then it'll have an episode eventually it'll stop and give you a piece like it previously did with the normal tesla gun go ahead and pick it up and yeah follow me up to the command room upstairs and yeah go by this circle little thing where you previously built your tesla gun press square and boom you have just built the upgraded tesla gun the hurricane If you guys found this guide useful in any sort of way, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe because it lets me know you guys enjoy this type of content. For more World War II guides, if you guys are ever confused or anything like that, I have a whole playlist. Also, in-depth guides on how to do everything in the map. And the Easter egg one should be coming very soon. I already recorded the gameplay and stuff, so yeah. And for that, you might want to turn the bell notification on because you don't know when it's going to come out. So... Yeah, I will see you guys in your refrigerator.